Hello. Hi, everybody. Deanne Castro here, Creative Memories Advisor in Bakersfield, California. And I'm doing a border today using the Autumn Harvest Paper um, and Embellishment Collection. And I'm so excited to show it to you. I'm also using the Pumpkin Patch Frame Punch. So let's get started. And here's the two borders that I've got done. <clears throat> and I used this pumpkin patch frame punch. Now this punch was designed to use as a frame and you can put your paper in at this line. Can you see that right there? Yeah, this line right here and or on the other side to make an actual frame. So that shows like right here on the box that you can put your photos in or other embellishments in. You can make this any size you want. Um, and I think there's a video out now that shows it using the whole uh, 12 by 12 page all the way to the outside of it. Mm -hmm. um, and here is the paper block. It's so pretty. These papers are gorgeous. There's a couple of different ones using the wood wood grain and then there's blues and stripes and leaves and nuts i don't remember what kind of nuts these are see like that right there and pumpkins and pretty yellow <clears throat> and orange pumpkins so really huge variety of colors in this the other thing i'm excited about is it also has a vellum paper pack there's five different colors of this vellum this is a wood grain and this one's a really pretty blue stripe this one is gorgeous it's blue leaves and it's really a dark blue oh, my camera's not showing it as much here's like a striped and then some really light leaf paper. And I'm gonna use that um, when we get done today, hopefully be able to show you the border on a page and what that kind of looks like, okay? So I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. And here's the border. So this is actually the frame punch and it's folded over on this border. This one is using actual um, decorated paper. This one I used um, cardstock. This is, I believe, a pumpkin cardstock. So see how it's folded over on here? Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the base. And I'm going to use this color as the base. And I'm going to cut it at two and three quarters. So here's this, two and three quarters, and I'm going to set that off to the side. I think I'm going to move these up here out of the way. Okay, then I'm going to cut another piece. This one's actually cardstock, and I'm going to cut this one at two and three quarters as well. <clears throat> Okay, and then I'm going to cut this piece using the wavy cutter. And so this one, I'm going to trim off just a little bit off the end to get the wave on the one side. So see here, it's going to cut the wave right here. I'm going to put this piece of paper just above that wave, because I want to save as much paper as I can just to get that. And I'm going to center it on here. I'm not going to put it up on the edge. I'm going to center it. <clears throat> okay.
So I just took a little bit off the edge. Sorry, guys. Excuse me, a frog in my throat this morning. Okay, and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to cut it at two inches. So the two inches, I'm putting the tip right on the cut line for this other lazy wave part. This one right here that I'm not using. And I'm going to put the tip of this paper right on that edge and that will give me the two inches. And again, I'm centering the paper on here. Okay, so that's gonna give me the top piece. Now, I'm going to need, for the baskets, I'm gonna need a two inch piece. And I'm gonna need three two by three inch pieces. Cut this one. And then I'm going to cut this into three inch pieces. <clears throat> so there's one. Two. And three, and I'm just gonna hold that off to the side for now. I won't need that one. Okay. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now I'm gonna punch a few of these pieces. This two and three quarter inch piece, I'm gonna put in here and I'm gonna line it up with this line right here on the, on the left-hand side. I can barely see it because of the size that I cut it. But I punch it and I'm going to move it over and I'm going to cover up the blue part on here with the piece that I just punched. And then again, making sure this is pushed up against the back. And I'm just going to cut this all the way across. And use it just making the full 12 inch piece. Okay, now I'm going to flip it. I'll cut this little edge off here. I'm going to flip it like this. And since it's going to be a little small. I'm going to take a post-it note, line it up against the line, right on the edge. Okay, right along the edge right here to make this longer. So when I put it in the punch, I can still see where I'm lining it up. Okay, so I can still line it up right on that line. And I'm going to punch this other side. Okay, and there again, I'm just going to punch it straight across the full 12 inch piece. Okay, so I really like the way this punched. If you don't want to cover this up, you can use this on just a regular border, but look, there's even a heart right here on these. Isn't that cool? I just love the way the pumpkins kind of uh, matched up with each other on here. So make sure when you put it in and you punch it all the way across to get the pattern the same on the other side, flip it this way. Okay, this is going to go on this piece right here. Now you can save the pumpkins 
the leaves and the little stems off of this. You can save all of it if you want, but I'm not saving all of them. I'm just going to show you how to um, kind of fill in some of this stuff. And I don't need to save them all. If you want, you can even make a shaker card with all of these little pieces. But that's enough. I don't need all the rest of these. So I'm going to get rid of them here. I'm going to move these out of the way for now. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take these three inch pieces and I'm going to cut them right in the center of this punch. Okay. And it's going to go down in there quite a, quite a ways, just leaving a little piece on the top here. Let's see how I have that centered in there. And I'm going to punch each piece the same way. Punch one end and then put turn it around and do the same thing. Now it's going to go down in there quite a ways, but you can still see how you can get that kind of centered in there. Okay, just line it up so it's right in the middle and punch it again. If you want to see it on the bottom to make sure it's even, you can just move it over and match it right in the center on the bottom right there. Okay. Set that down and punch. Okay. So we're going to do two more just like this. Push this down in there. Punch, turn it around. Center it in there. Punch. And one more. And it really doesn't have to be perfect. It's just when you fold it over, you can just match it up once you folded it. Okay. Here again, if you want to save parts of it, save the pumpkins for something else, or if you're doing a different color, you can do that. And I'm just going to move them out of the way for now. Okay, the last thing that you need to punch is the piece that goes in the middle of these little basket things. So I've got a, a two inch piece here and I'm going to punch one side of it. I'm going to punch the other side because we need three. I'm going to trim them off. Just to the bottom, it's kind of like about an inch and a half or so. And I need one more. And trim it off. This is going to go down inside the basket just to give it a little extra color. Mm. All right, now we're ready to assemble. Okay. So let's see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the adhesive on the back of this. and get it on the base.
and just center it on there the best that you can. Just eyeball it. Okay, then we're going to put this piece on there. And we're going to center this one on there. Okay, now we're going to assemble these baskets. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put some adhesive on this piece. And I'm going to. Let's see. It doesn't match, that, but that's okay. That'll work. Just going to kind of give it a little color here. And then we're going to fold this over. We're going to match it up. Kind of press down with your fingers in the middle so that it folds a little easier. And then see how I'm just kind of layering it to get the various colors. Okay. And then that just gives it the little basket look on it. Okay. Add some adhesive. I'm going to use the regular adhesive on this just so that it stays down really good. And I'm going to center it on here and press down. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the other two. Put some adhesive on the back of this. Drop it down just a little bit so you can still see that color on the other side. Fold in the bottom down here. Now, granted, once you put it on your page, it's going to flatten out quite a bit, but it just gives it some extra dimension as you layer it like this. Okay. Layer that, add some adhesive. And I'm just kind of putting it in the center of this swell. And the last piece. It's not the adhesive I wanted on there. Just layer. Again, just press down so you can get that little fold in there. And then layer it. Trying to save tape here, that piece that I didn't want to use, I'm putting on the back here. And then again, just put it in the middle of the swell. And you've got your base done. Isn't that cute? Now, um, the reason I was saving these other little pieces over here is because you can then. Fill in 
um, the the little pieces here. So like if I put this point near the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this right here where this pumpkin part is. And you can just fill them in. Okay, so I'm gonna use this flower or this leaf. I think that's the right side. It's kind of hard when you get these little pieces on here. That one there. Let's see. I'm gonna put um a little brown one. This little tiny brown leaf here. A little bit of adhesive. This there. And then you can even add the stem of the pumpkin. Yes, we're getting a little small here. Sorry about that. But if you want to do this detail, it's really cute. It really helps fill it in. Okay, so there you filled in those little areas. So if you like that, you can do that. Or if you just like leaving it open with just the layers, you can do that as well. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this Autumn Harvest Embellishment Pack. It's got gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I don't know if you can see it, but see the copper um, foil on the top of these? They just sparkle. They're just so, so pretty. So I'm gonna take a couple of things out up here. And I'm gonna add a few embellishments on here make this stand out. So that was a little large. We won't use that one. But I like that one. I like that one because it goes really well with this paper right here. Okay. And then we can add something else on the top of that leaf. Input gathered. Oh, look. Steaming coffee cup. Isn't that cute? Um, okay. And maybe just a little pumpkin off to the side. Let's move that. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. I'm going to put this back in here. Add this to the top. And the pumpkin. And this little gathered banner. And there we go. And the border's done. Now, what I wanted to show you as well is putting this on a page. So I'm gonna bring back the paper and let's see. I think what I want is I wanna choose this wood grain. And then I want to show you the vellum because it's so pretty. What I want to do is probably put like a little four inch piece of the vellum off to the side of this page. And that one doesn't show up very well. So won't we'll use that one. I'm thinking maybe this blue vellum. And that's pretty, but it's kind of dark. 
So let's try maybe the striped blue. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. I think I'll use that one, but let me try one more. I really like this orange wood green. Let's see what this one looks like too. Oh, that one looks nice too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I'm just gonna cut a four inch piece of this vellum. Just to give the page some extra dimension. Okay, and I'm gonna put it just off to the side, but still have some of the paper showing. You see how the wood grain still shows through? Nice. And I'm going to put the border here. And then you've got plenty of space for some photos. Let's see. I don't have my photo maps. Let's see if I have any four by six. Okay, so you've got some space for a couple of regular size photos, and then um, you can also trim them up. I think this is a little wider than four inches. So let's see. If I trim these a little bit. Nope, those are close to four inches, so I'll just leave it. So you just add a few photos and then a journaling box. Maybe right down here. And you've got a full page already complete. Wasn't that cool? Thank you guys so much for joining me. I uh, just wanted to remind you of a couple of things. Um, if you don't have an advisor, and you would like to get these supplies, I'd be happy to help you out. Um, this is my website, www.creativememories.com forward slash user forward slash Deanne Castro. But please, if you've got an advisor, get a hold of her and get a hold of this gorgeous paper so you can make this border and these pages. Um, remember to uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this idea. Check out my other videos and click on the bell because then you'll get notified each week when my video actually comes out. I try to do Tuesday mornings. Um, so hopefully this one comes out in time. Um, otherwise, there's one sometime during the week. And so just keep an eye out for that. And if you have any questions or you want to um, just uh, check out um, some some other ideas you might want me to try, go ahead and email me, deannecmc2 at yahoo.com. And I've got a Facebook group that I'm starting that's going to have um, all of the new stuff that comes out and um, a few other ideas. And if you would like to share your border on this site, just go ahead and uh, friend me in the group and I'll add you in and you'll see any other ideas I have and the other specials that have come out. We also have a special this week where there's six different new vellum colors. It's a, um, I'm sorry, not vellum, shimmer colors. So it's a shimmer paper buffet that's come out and you can get it in a bundle to get even a free color. So check out the website and um, check out the gorgeous shimmer colors that have come out this week. And there's also a sunflower paper pack. Okay, so thank you for joining me. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Have a great day.